All right, so in this video, I'm going to solve the equation x to the power of 3 minus x is equal to 210. So to solve this, I want to find the value of x. So I'm going to first start by subtracting 210 on both sides. So now these two cancel out and I get x to the power of 3 minus x minus 210 is equal to 0. Now from here, <clears throat> I'm going to rewrite this as x to the power of 3 minus x plus 6 minus 216 is equal to 0. So I rewrote negative 210 as 6 minus 216. So now the reason I did this is because I can reorder this as x to the power of 3 minus 216 minus x plus 6 is equal to 0. And I'm going to group x to the power of 3 minus 216 together. Now 216 is the same thing as 6 to the power of 3. So I get x to the power of 3 minus 6 to the power of 3 minus x plus 6 is equal to 0. And now if I have something in the form a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this is equal to a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. In this case, a is x and b is 6. So I get x minus 6 times x squared plus 6x plus 36. And we can't forget that we have minus x minus 6 at the end. <clears throat> negative x plus 6 is the same thing as negative x minus 6 because you distribute the negative sign. So now from here, because both of these terms have x minus 6 in them, I'm going to factor out x minus 6. So I get x minus 6 times x squared plus 6x plus 36 minus 1 is equal to 0. And this turns into x minus 6 times x squared plus 6x plus 35 minus 0. Or sorry, is equal to 0. So now from here, I get two equations. I get x minus 6 is equal to 0, and x squared plus 6x plus 35 is equal to 0. So x minus 6 equals 0. For this, I can add 6 on both sides, so I get x is equal to 6. And this is one solution of x. <clears throat> now for x squared plus 6x plus 35 equals 0. To solve this, I can use the quadratic formula which is negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So in this case, a is 1, b is 6, and c is 35. So I get x equals negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 6 squared, which is 36, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 35, all over 2a, so 2 times 1. And this is equal to negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 36 minus 140. And 36 minus 140, well, that's going to be a negative number. And you can't take the square root of a negative number. So, meaning there's no real solutions to this. There are imaginary solutions, but there are no real solutions with this. So, x equals 6 is our only real solution to this equation. If you like the video, please make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and tell and share this with any of your friends and family. And please make sure to check out other videos on the channel. Thank you.
All right, so in this video, I'm going to be solving the problem 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10. And for this problem, I actually have four option choices. So for A, I have 27 to the power of 30. For B, I have 9 to the power of 30. For C, I have 27 to the power of 10. And for D, I have 3 to the power of 21. So to first start out, let's go through all these option choices and see if they're right or not. So we first have A, 27 to the power of 30. And how this likely was resulted in was from adding all the bases and adding all the exponents. So we have 9 plus 9 plus 9 to the power of 10 plus 10 plus 10, which is equal to 27 to the power of 30. And this is actually wrong because this is not the proper way to add exponents. So now going from here, this was likely gotten 9 to the power of 30 by keeping the base the same and then adding the exponents. And this again is wrong because this is not the right way to add exponents. Now we have 27 to the power of 10 and this was gone from adding the bases, but keeping the exponent the same. And this again is wrong as well. That's not how you add exponents. Now three to the power of 21, which is by process of elimination, the right answer, we're going to see how they got this. So, we first start with 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10 plus 9 to the power of 10. And I'm going to factor out 9 to the power of 10. So I get 9 to the power of 10 times 1 plus 1 plus 1, which is equal to 9 to the power of 10 times 3. And now this is equal to 3 squared to the power of 10 times 3. And if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So 3 to the power of 2 to the power of 10 is going to equal 3 to the power of 20. And I have this times 3 to the power of 1. So I simply just add the exponents. This is equal to 3 to the power of 21. Now, if you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and share this to any of your friends or family members.